Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Would you throw $150 out the window? Probably not. But that's what's happening if you have air leaking through holes and cracks in your home. Energy experts call it air infiltration and it could be costing you a lot. It could be costing up to $150 a year for the average American home. But with just a small investment and a little bit of work, you can make sure that your energy dollars aren't disappearing into thin air. The time and the money you spend weatherizing your home will be paid back in energy savings in just a few weeks. Weatherizing not only helps keep you warmer in the winter, but it can also reduce your summer cooling costs as well. So let's get started. Caulk is one of the most important things you'll need to tighten up your house. For just a few dollars, it will help keep the cold air and water from finding their way inside. But you might get confused when you venture into the caulk aisle at the home store because there are dozens of types to choose from. So here's what to look for. Interior or exterior use. Some caulks can be used both inside and outside, and others should only be used inside. The material it's made of. Caulk is made of either latex or silicone. Latex is usually more pliable, allowing you to work with it longer before it sets up. Silicone hardens more quickly, but it's more difficult to clean up any mistakes. The warranty. Some caulks are good for about five to seven years, while others will last for up to 20 years. The color. You probably won't want to use gray caulk around your white window frames. For tools, you'll need scissors or utility knife, a razor blade scraper, a damp sponge or rag, and a hair dryer. Today we'll be caulking these windows, and even though the homeowners have storm windows, these older double hung windows have a lot of cracks that can let the cold air in. Now, the first step is to caulk around the window casing, and this is the wooden frame around the window here where it meets the wall. We're going to be using a white latex caulk that's paintable in case the homeowner wants to change the color down the road. This latex is really easy to work with, and it has a warranty of seven years. To open up the tube, use your utility knife to slice off a small piece near the end, and don't go too far down the nozzle or the caulk will come out in a thick bead instead of a thin one. Another great tip is to cut the nozzle at a 45 degree angle so it comes out nice and even. Caulk can be a little tricky to work with if you've never used it before, so take a few minutes to practice on a piece of scrap paper or cardboard first. First timers might want to try using the squeeze tubes. They're a lot easier to handle than a caulking gun, although they are more expensive. Before you get started caulking, check to see if you need to scrape off any of the old caulk or loose paint. These can keep the new caulk from sticking properly. And whether or not you have to scrape, do wipe the area down with a damp cloth to remove any dust or dirt. Start at the top of the window and slowly work your way down, being careful to keep a steady bead of caulk flowing. When you get to the bottom, wet your finger and run it along the bead, and this will press the caulk into the crack and smooth it out. Then take your damp sponge or rag and clean up any excess. There's another type of caulk you can use to seal up a window and it's called rope caulk. Now it's almost, it's like clay and it comes in a long strip like this. And this is even easier to install. You just roll it out and press it right into the crack like this. Once again, you're going to want to make sure that you've removed any dirt or dust from around the window because that's going to help it to stick properly. Now, these, this type of caulk should go wherever there are moving parts in your window, such as the sash. The last step in weatherizing a window is the plastic film, and it comes in a package like this that includes its own double-sided tape. Just press the tape along the edge of the window casing, like this. Once the tape is in place all the way around the window, remove the backing. Now, starting in one corner, press the film into place on top of the tape. If necessary, smooth it out and reposition it as you go. When the film is securely attached all the way around the window, use a hair dryer to shrink it for a nice tight fit. If you take your time, the film will be practically invisible when you're done. The last step is to cut off the excess film with scissors or a utility knife. And don't worry about the tape damaging the finish on your window casing when you remove it because it's designed to come off easily. And there's one more way to help keep the cold air out, and that's to use heavy curtains or drapes, even a quilt or a blanket. Keep them closed at night to hold back the cold air, and then open them up in the morning to let the sun in and warm the room. That's all there is to weatherizing a window. But of course, you want to keep your windows in good repair all year round, so if the glass is cracked or broken, have it replaced. And periodically check the glazing, which keeps the glass in place, to make sure that it's nice and tight. If the glass rattles when you tap the window, you need new glazing. Don't go away, we've got more Powerhouse in just a minute.